I am Oscar and I will be showing you how to cook an omelette in a pan. So first off, oh gosh, my you want to put some butter in and my butter's stuck on the bottom of that. Brilliant. That's a good way to start videos off. Okay, anyway, just get it around a bit. Okay. So you want to move the butter around a bit so it's not sizzling as much. Now, whilst it's not sizzling as much, I am going to want two eggs, crack them. And put it all in there. Same with the other. Okay. Now I'm going to want a bit of milk. Just put it a little bit, just put a splash in. So, that might have been a bit much. I will. It's all good. Okay, now you're just going to want to whisk it around really good. I'm just going to break up my eggs a bit. Okay. Once you think it's mixed in enough, like once it's a really nice yellow colour and it doesn't have too much orange, you can have a bit of orange if you want it in there, that's just the yolk. You're going to want to lift it off. I've got a little bit of yolk in there, so. Okay. And pour it into the pan. Okay. Now, choose your toppings. I'm going to have some salami. I'll get six pieces, because why not? Okay. That's why I've done one thick one. Okay, so you're going to want to put it on top. Like, ow. That got a bit hot. Get some more salami. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to get as much salami as possible. I want that flat. It doesn't have to be flat, it's just my OCD. Okay. Okay, that's all the salami I want. Now, I'm also going to have some olives. So... Just put the bit of that on top. Get one more scoop. Okay. I'm also going to have a bit of parsley. So, I just will take that over. Hey. So, what I like to do is I like to cut it over the pan. If I can get it, that might be a bit mixed. Cut it over the pan and it makes it so much easier. Okay, that's all the parsley I need. Okay, now what I want to do is move that and put the lid on and wait until it's cooked. Whilst you're waiting for it to cook, you always want to stay near it so you know what's going on. I'm going to go get something. There's nothing like a good book to read whilst you're waiting. So whilst I'm reading... How's it looking? A little bit longer. Actually, that's the topping I forgot. Cheese. I forgot the cheese. That's something I forgot. Ooh, that wasn't good. Sprinkle it gently over. So how do we know when it's ready? Um, <laughs> give me a sec. I need... Where is my when it is ready, it should be nice and flat and not bubbling too much. 
there might be a few bubbles in it but it shouldn't be bubbling too much and you will know when it's cooked because it won't really be that runny mine is quite runny right now so i'm going to leave it for longer the reason you keep the lid on top is one so it cooks faster there's more heat and two so it keeps that nice rounded shape Okay, I'm gonna get my book and I'm gonna keep reading. Okay, where was I out? Okay, hopefully that it's cooked now. Is it? Obviously not. Man, it takes a lot longer to cook than I thought. Oh well. Okay, I think that's ready. Is it ready? Is it ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah see how the movement there? Oh, yeah. That's like you can see where the olive juice is sitting, but there's no eggy juice. Okay, sitting. it is now ready. I just had to make, I just had to double check. Okay, I need a plate. So, I'll hold the plate. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I need to hold that. And get that under. If it's easier for you, you can fold it in half to get it out easier. Which is what I'm going to do because I haven't cooked omelets that much. And omeletoire. A nice, delicious omelette. Perfect for your breakfast, lunch or dinner. And done in less than 10 minutes.